was C Sharp stolen from Java? So Java and C Sharp share some similarities, no doubt. But I sometimes hear or see people comment that C Sharp was stolen from Java. This is an inaccurate statement. Yes, they are both descendants of C++. So of course, these two great technologies are going to have many similarities. They both use C-style syntax and heavily support object-oriented programming. Both of these languages run, as it were, on their own software substrate or virtual machine. Java uses the Java runtime environment's Java Virtual Machine, JVM, and c -sharp uses .NET CLR, Common Language Runtime. So yes, I believe the c -sharp language drew inspiration from Java by using a virtual machine as a fundamental part of the technology. Principally, the use of a virtual machine is very similar, but when you go down to the juicy details, you will find many differences. The first version of .NET, .NET Framework, was tightly coupled with Windows, and the entire .NET Framework needed to be installed on the target computer. It was designed to enable interoperability with multiple languages, including Visual Basic .NET, F Sharp, of course, C Sharp, and initially even C++. Java, from its inception, was built on the philosophy of write once, run anywhere, and was developed to be cross-platform from its inception. .NET has only fairly recently become fully unified and cross-platform. So in this video, we'll dispel the rather unfair idea that C Sharp was just stolen from Java. Inspired in some ways, yes, but stolen, no. So we'll focus on some of the differences of these two great languages in this video. So let's first look at the notion of a new technology being inspired by an older technology versus just outright stealing from the older technology. If we look at the evolution of technology in general, nothing exists in a vacuum. The evolution of a technology is very much a gradual growth process. Sure, you have that initial spark, of discovering something revolutionary, for example, electricity, semiconductors, quantum mechanics, nuclear fusion, and nuclear fission. And then come various applications and many innovations, many refinements, and eventually we end up with a man on the moon, quantum computers, artificial intelligence, freaking robots that can drive your granny to the store and help her shop for groceries or a motorbike. Eventually, We'll no doubt colonize Mars or even U what? Uranus. Or we could even build an underwater city on Europa. The point is, who knows where all these wonderful innovations may lead us in the future. So let's not stunt our growth by being too worried about who came up with what. C Sharp and Java are both awesome languages and I highly recommend learning any of these two programming languages. So, C Sharp and Java are both popular object-oriented languages, and they share many similarities, such as their syntax, garbage collection, and their use of virtual machines, JVM for Java and CLR for C Sharp. However, they differ in several important ways, including their ecosystems, language features, and runtime environments. I say this a lot on this channel. But I've heard Anders Halsberg, one of the key creators of the C Sharp programming language, state in an interview that his goal when creating C Sharp was to combine the RAD, rapid application development capabilities inherent in the Visual Basic programming language, with the power and expressiveness of C++. So yes, in terms of the concept of a virtual machine, C Sharp almost certainly drew inspiration from Java. But in terms of the language itself, I think C Sharp is more inspired by C++ and Visual Basic than Java. The fact that Java, like C Sharp, is a direct descendant of C++ makes it understandable that many Java enthusiasts may feel that C Sharp was simply copied from Java. For the aforementioned reasons, I believe this is simply not true. I do believe that in some ways, C Sharp was certainly inspired by Java, but the vast majority of technologies in some ways are inspired by previous technologies. This is how technology evolves. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section.
Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. Let me know if you think C Sharp was stolen from Java and why. Of course, all comments are welcome. Your insights are greatly appreciated. So let's delve a bit deeper into some of the juicy details regarding the differences between these two programming languages. Language syntax and features. Link, language integrated query. C Sharp supports Link which provides powerful querying capabilities directly within the language, allowing developers to query collections and databases using a consistent syntax. Java does not have an equivalent to Link. Although with Streams API introduced in Java 8, developers can perform functional style operations like map, filter, and reduce on collections. Properties. C Sharp has built-in support for properties, getter and setter methods which provide a concise syntax for accessing object fields, enabling encapsulation without the need for boilerplate code. Java does not have native support for properties. Instead, developers must manually implement getter and setter methods for encapsulation, leading to the need for more boilerplate code. Delegates and events. C Sharp uses delegates, type safe function pointers, and has built-in support for events which are commonly used in GUI and event-driven programming. Java does not have direct support for delegates. Instead, Java developers typically use interfaces like runnable or callable and anonymous classes or Lambda expressions for similar behavior. Java also uses observers and listeners for event-driven programming. Checked versus unchecked exceptions. In C Sharp, all exceptions are unchecked, meaning that the compiler does not force you to handle or declare them. Java has both checked and unchecked exceptions. Checked exceptions must be either handled with a try-catch block or declared in the method signature with throws. This makes exception handling more explicit, but can also lead to more boilerplate code. Key difference, C Sharp has more built-in features like properties, link, and delegates, while Java often requires more boilerplate code or uses other mechanisms, for example, functional interfaces and streams for similar functionality. Platform and ecosystem. C Sharp was created by Microsoft as part of the .NET ecosystem. C Sharp is tightly integrated with .NET. Note that since the .NET framework's first appearance in the early 2000s, .NET has evolved into a cross-platform modular framework. At the time of creating this video, late 2024, .NET 9 is about to be released, which is a fully unified cross-platform runtime. The first incarnation of .NET, the .NET framework, provided a rich standard library for building Windows, Cloud, Web, and desktop applications. It needed to be installed in its entirety on the target computer and could only run on Windows platforms. With the advent of .NET Core in 2016, C Sharp code could be developed and run on a variety of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So C Sharp now has cross-platform support. Unlike with the .NET framework, since the release of .NET Core, .NET, as well as providing cross-platform support, is also modular, meaning only the required components of an application need to be installed on the target computer. Java is developed by Oracle formerly Sun Microsystems, and is designed to run on the Java Virtual Machine, JVM. It is widely used for cross-platform applications, especially in enterprise environments, Android development, and large-scale web services. Java's write once, run anywhere philosophy is key to its cross-platform appeal. So, in this context, the key difference between C Sharp and Java is that C Sharp is more deeply tied to the .NET ecosystem and was historically more Windows-centric, while Java is built around the JVM with a more diverse ecosystem focused on cross-platform enterprise and Android development. Cross-platform development. Historically, C Sharp was closely tied to the Windows platform and .NET framework, but with the introduction of .NET Core and .NET 5 Plus, at the time of the creation of this video, .NET version 9 is about to be released, C Sharp is now fully cross-platform supporting Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Additionally, with tools like Xamarin, which has now evolved 
into the .NET MAUI framework, c -sharp can be used for developing cross-platform mobile applications, iOS and Android applications, and Blazor can be used for building web apps using c -sharp and .NET. Java has always been cross-platform due to its reliance on the JVM, allowing Java applications to run on many platforms that has a JVM implementation, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Java is also the primary language for Android development. Key differences. While both are now cross-platform, c -sharp achieved cross-platform support more recently with .NET Core, whereas Java has been cross-platform since its inception. Memory management and garbage collection. c -sharp uses the .NET garbage collector, GC, which is highly optimized and can be customized to some degree using different garbage collection modes. For example, workstation, server, and concurrent. c -sharp also supports deterministic finalization through the I disposable interface and the using statement, allowing developers to manage resources like file handles or database connections explicitly. Java also uses garbage collection for automatic memory management. The Java garbage collector is tunable with various algorithms, for example, G1, Shenandoah, and generations, young and old generation spaces. However, Java does not have a direct equivalent of c -sharp's using statement for resource management, relying more on try with resources and finalization. Key difference, c -sharp offers more explicit resource management with the using statement and iDisposable interface, while Java's GC is highly configurable but doesn't have built-in deterministic finalization in the same way. Generics implementation. In c -sharp, generics are implemented using reified types, meaning that the type information is preserved at runtime. This allows for more type safety and reflection capabilities involving generics. Java uses type erasure for generics, which means that generic type information is not available at runtime. While this reduces the size of the bytecode, it limits the ability to perform operations that require type information at runtime. Key difference, c -sharp's generics maintains type information at runtime, reification making them more powerful and flexible in certain cases, whereas Java's type erasure makes generics less flexible. Development environment. c -sharp's development is deeply integrated with Visual Studio, a powerful IDE that offers tools for debugging, refactoring, and testing. Visual Studio is highly optimized for the .NET ecosystem, and its integration with the c -sharp language is often regarded as one of the best in the industry. So c -sharp also has great support within Visual Studio Code. Java development is often done using IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, or NetBeans. These IDEs provide robust support for Java development, but Java has traditionally had more diversity in its toolchain compared to c -sharp's focus on Visual Studio. Key difference, c -sharp is highly integrated with Visual Studio, whereas Java offers a wider range of development environments, although IntelliJ IDEA is often seen as the premier Java IDE. Functional programming features. c -sharp has increasingly embraced functional programming features, offering support for Lambda expressions, higher order functions, expression bodied members, and immutable data structures. Link further enhances functional programming capabilities. Java added support for lambdas and streams in Java 8, bringing functional programming into the language, but its functional programming support is generally considered more limited compared to C-sharp. Key difference, C-sharp offers more extensive support for functional programming constructs than Java, though Java has made strides in this area since Java 8. Mobile development. With Xamarin, which has now evolved into the .NET MAUI framework, c -sharp is used for cross-platform mobile development, targeting both iOS and Android devices. .NET MAUI allows sharing a significant portion of code between platforms while still allowing native-like performance and capabilities. Java is the primary language for Android development. The Android SDK is built around Java although Android developers can now also use Kotlin, a language developed by JetBrains that runs on the JVM and has become the preferred language for Android. Key difference. 
While Java and Kotlin dominate Android development, C Sharp can be used for cross-platform mobile development through .NET MAUI, which is a .NET framework that evolved from Xamarin. Native interoperability. C Sharp has built-in support for P Invoke to call native functions in DLLs and has a robust interoperability system to work with COM and Windows APIs. The .NET ecosystem also supports platform-specific APIs for better integration with operating systems. Java provides Java Native Interface, JNI, to call native C, C++ code, though it is often seen as more cumbersome than C Sharp's P Invoke. There are also third-party tools like JNA, Java Native Access, to simplify the process. Key differences. C Sharp's P Invoke is often considered easier to use than Java's JNI, making native interoperability more straightforward in C Sharp. Conclusion. While C Sharp and Java are similar in many ways, both being object-oriented, garbage collected, and strongly typed, they differ in their ecosystems, language features, and specific use cases. C Sharp offers more features like link, properties, delegates, and tighter integration with the .NET ecosystem, while Java has broader cross-platform support. So I think C Sharp has certainly in some ways been inspired by Java, but certainly not outright stolen from Java. Drawing inspiration from technologies that came before is very different from stealing and rebranding a technology. C Sharp is certainly not a clone of Java. Both of these technologies have their advantages and disadvantages when being considered for a particular requirement. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I've already said in this video, I heard Anders Halsberg, one of the key creators of the C Sharp programming language, state in an interview that his goal when creating C Sharp was to combine the RAD, rapid application development capabilities inherent in the Visual Basic programming language with the power and expressiveness of C++. So here is my opinion to end off this video. Clearly, both Java and C Sharp are heavily inspired by C++, which is a key reason why these two languages are so similar, but it is also a key reason why these two programming languages are also so great and popular. The .NET CLR common language runtime was almost certainly inspired by the JVM, Java Virtual Machine, but drawing inspiration from older technologies is not a crime. And the .NET CLR is certainly not a clone of the JVM. These two technologies have evolved over time in many different ways. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will, of course, be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Let me know which of these two languages you prefer and why. Of course, all comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. With a man on the moon, quantum computers, 